What's up guys? We're back. George and Laz, Jeremy's tuning. We're busting our tails over here. Mostly Laz, honestly. He's getting our oil restrictors here, all right? So we don't blast the seals out of our brand new old used turbos. We got the perfect amount of oil. Well, we're actually trying to figure it out. We have no idea what's the perfect amount, but there's either the lesser one or the more one. Come on, see what else we're doing. So last night we got the oil pan off, cleaned it out real nice. Drove a couple holes in it and we got our oil return uh, drain lines here for our turbos. So I'm in the process of making one of the... Wait a minute, I don't even know if you guys seen the turbo kit yet. Did they? Anyways, this thing is like pretty much mounted right now. Like maybe a little crooked here and there, but you know what? Whatever. Well, we got our solid state relay on the back side right there. We got this one right here coming together. Lots of wiring. Lots of piping. Our intercooler is not coming, so we took this one from uh, Cleaner's old Bald Eagle machine, and we're gonna try to make that work. We're gonna slap a couple fans on there. Oh, we got our oil feed lines ran. Very nice. Everything's nice and clean. Besides that factory power steering stuff looks horrendous, but everything else, good to go. Dude, we are on the home stretch right now. No, we're at third base though. We're at third base for sure. This is day three. Two full days. We rewired the entire truck, the entire engine bay, yeah. Brand new fuel system. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. We're right now having to adapt to and overcome. Turbos. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six in one hand, you know the rest. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we had a 180 piece, George cut it in half. It's gonna extend little one inch bits on there, so we can couple it to that off the turbo. We're gonna bring both the turbos. Cross. into this Y fitting, so yes, steel to aluminum. We're gonna have another coupler there with an extension pipe off of this. So it'll be four couplers total, so that shouldn't be too bad. That's gonna go across, meet up with that. That'll be welded. And then down a three inch out of the back here, down to whichever, I think we're gonna go to this side. All right. Charge, because coming off of here, the 90, we get around the idler and stuff, if we take that down to that side. Okay. With the... So we're coming, this is going to be the exit, that's going to be the entry. Yep. Alright, and we got to get some fans on there if we want this thing to live. Yeah. Dang right, I'm probably just going to zip tie them on there since this is a temporary intercooler. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, one of the other things that somebody had mentioned, which again, we definitely do try and catch up on some of the comments there, was that somebody said, hey, we got the windshield washer tank, why don't you put it on the intercooler? Is that still an option? Can we do that on the uh, table? I gave my pump to my buddy. And my lines are kind of uh, rotten. <laughs> Plus, I just don't really have I mean, honestly, I thought it was a brilliant idea. It's just that, unfortunately, it's a little too late. So, we'll see if we can make that happen. Rodney V3? V3. After this one. Uh. That was such a bad... After this one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a mulligan on your... <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's just run this one over here. Boom, boom. We'll knock it in there. Well, I was like, no. Nah, boom, nah, bang. Not going to happen. No, nah, I can't do it without the symmetry. They're already not twin turbos because one's taller than the other. So I've been calling it cousin turbo. Doesn't roll off the tongue Instead the same. twin turbo. Yeah, well. It's going to roll into that boost the same, though. Hey. Yeah, I mean, or we could have our nitrous spraying on that. You could do that. Yeah. Shoot, I got to mount the nitrous. Make this. These look really familiar. Yeah, we had to swipe those off the S10. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is supposed to be on the driver's side. I mean, passenger side. Oh well. It Dude, Rodney's gonna be pretty sweet. It's definitely Twin coming together, man. Cousin Turbo. The last fitting for the last hose. Cousin Turbo kit going into one three-inch Y. There, we're gonna actually knock that three-inch off and keep it small, and take it down to the three inch on that side. Some nice spool fans. How many CFM are those? A lot. That's what we need. I'm gonna go back over and do some welding. You got a little bit of compression there. Glue it all together.
doing some turbo stuff and boogity boo, what do you do? Look who walks in the door. <laughs> Look what I brought. Oh, some radiator hose? Some radiator hose. We're going to push the dang woo woo. Cover That's exactly back, what we need. Are we going inside of the bed or no bed or? We're going to put the bed back on, but wherever we need to cut it, zip zip. Zip zip zip. Go pew. Exactly. Down. See, that's why we're on the same page always. Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. We're making some serious progress. Laz is. Glad you just welded that thing up. <laughs> Put a little scratch in it, not a big deal. I don't care about them. Yeah, this thing's coming along real good, man. We wanted PVC, but we're gonna have to sell for just aluminum. Aluminium. Yeah, it's gonna be easy because we got no bed now, so we just figure it out and then cut a big old hole in the bottom. Late at night, Thursday night. Our lines tied up down here, just giving you guys a quick little rundown. These are the transmission cooler lines. We see that thing looking good. Oil cooler over here. Got the oil cooler lines running into our sweet oil distribution block. Oil feed lines for our turbos. Driver side, passenger side goes around that way. Man, nice and clean. This is a little bit too nice for Rodney, man. I know it. It really is. I just want to key it on and see if everything comes on. Alright. You know? You got fans are gonna make noise. Battery in it. Fans should make noise. As long as I got the relays hooked up right. We got some exhaust mocked up. Oh wow! Those fans are ripping. Smell like dead squirrel. Woo! Fans ripping now. Oh! Oh boy! That mug sounded good. Oh dude! Oh, she wants it. <laughs> oh man, it sounds like it's gonna be pretty rowdy. Pretty dude, it sounds like the S10. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. S10. That's my old truck. Remember, you guys used to be sitting in the backyard together. Now both of you got twin turbos. What are the odds of that, Rodney? This is a really funny story, honestly. So, we and Laz started it up a couple times last night. I looked underneath it and there's oil all over the place. <clears throat> Turns out I didn't tighten up one, two, three, four of my oil lines. Uh, don't know, you know. And the first time I put the rusty junkyard motor together, fired it up, drove it to the end of the neighborhood and back, did not even have the oil uh, recirculating cap on there. So, the oil was shooting straight out of the engine and uh so it's like every time i get something cool i don't run oil through it so i don't know what the deal is with that hopefully i break that i tried to do a test burnout today we're gonna have to try to dyno it today it's a big day so i'm gonna get to it i was just reminiscing though used to be my two girls well i guess rodney's boy now well so is frank Jeez, both of you guys oh i'm not gonna go there hey another really strange thing i just noticed there are two dents coming from the inside out of my rear end that I welded up myself and I'm not exactly a good welder. Plus, uh, I had, didn't even have the gas on. So when I got done, it just looked like, it looked bad. So, uh, yeah, we got parts flying around in there, I guess. Look at that dent. Hopefully it holds up because it's already Friday. <laughs> oh boy. Get that nitrous line pulled out a little bit. How do you want to run this? Uh, so we'll just run it. Away from the heat. Well, my headlights gonna have to go there, but I got about another foot in the cab too. I didn't know you were putting those back in here. So one day, one day. You're going full night rider mode. One day. Look at them solenoids, though, boys and girls. We're going inside then. Laz over here welding up uh, some pipe so our couplers don't slide off. He's welding a little bead around the edge. There we go. Ryan just Look finished down, running some. Away from all the hot sides. Up there. Finishing up on nitrous lines here. Gotta just get my trigger. 
We gotta finish welding the V bands on the back of the turbo housings. Getting some clamps for the cold side and once we get the IAT sensor, we are good to go. Is there a lot of welding to do still? No, not really. Just a couple flanges? I mean a couple uh, like locker beads, whatever you call these, that. One more the aluminum ones. We'll Show them what them. you're doing there. So them oh. couplers don't slide off. He's welding them a couple of little. slide over. Yeah. Um, we'll do the crimp trick on the aluminum pipe on the center. And then we'll, I might take those next door and actually take them. Preheat it and do it the right way. All right, this is it. This is the home stretch. I'm gonna fire it up very, very shortly here. This thing has definitely turned out way more wild than I even, honestly, than probably my dreams had anticipated. What do you say, George? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dream for sure. All right, so we had this all back together for just a short little bit. Had to take a bunch of things apart, get certain gaskets, a lot of finalization of a few things. Still have yet to do the cooling system, so we're probably gonna pull the carpet. You know, it's more of a yeah, I was gonna say biohazard, but squirrel hazard. It really is kind of nasty in here. All right, the last big undertaking though with the radiators, trying to put this in the back here. Uh, we haven't totally figured out exactly how we're going to do this. This is a this is a big one, but everything else is done, so we're gonna try and focus all our efforts on that. So yeah, the S10 is looking a little bit bare and naked here. Had to steal the wastegates, the up pipes, a lot of stuff just got stolen off of here. But you know. Kind of the way it goes. Made a nest. Yeah, nasty. This is a stinky job. Hey, can you come to the trash can? I want to smell it a little bit. Look at the carpet, dude. It's so gross. Oh, that's right where he died. Yeah, this right here is where he died. There's a lot of squirrel all the fur on there. A lot of squirrel poop in here. Is that what that is right there? Is that a squirrel poop? Yeah. Looks like a little bug. Oh, that one's wet inside. Actually, that might have been a cockroach egg right there. Yeah, we oh, gotta get to this here. So, Jeremy had made some motor plates. This is parts of a bottle opener on the plasma table that we haven't had a chance to really work on yet. And I needed a base for some legs for the radiator. So I actually got half a bottle opener on a, on a motor plate. And then we're gonna be putting the stand right on it. Cycle here and had some pieces that look like the right sizes and I'm gonna make them work. Still got a, uh, I would say more than faint death smell up in here. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's in the seats. The carpet and stuff. Was he in the... Oh, show him my steering wheel, dude. All right, well, here, yeah. Let's do it. All right, so this is the result of George drilling in there. Whoa. Oh, dude, I was wondering what the hell I'm getting wet from. That, uh, now I smell like an old lady's bathroom or something. Oh, the breeze last night. Like, yeah. Drenched. Yeah, just I got it all over my leg now. Oh. I even taste it, dude. It's, that's almost like that. off. All right, anyway. Look, so this is our button here. For the nitrous which is of course purging into the turbos you about ready to fire this thing up dude or what really soaking it in from right here is a totally different perspective 
All right, it's always encouraging when you see brickable right there. So yeah, we got four minutes and 10 seconds, so we're changing the operating system. We're going from mass error to speed density. This has got our two bar map sensor on it, so it's gonna be a minute or four. We are live. <laughs> it's not something here every day. Yeah. Usually people want to get it. Well, I scooch over a little bit. Let me get this full effect here. Wowzers. All right, let's fire this thing up. Yeah. That's a great. Oh, that was stuff. I thought, you, it, was like, that, oh, I thought it was that cool. cam, honestly. <laughs> what did they Bro, that block cam up a is lift already? A lot bigger, like little to no vacuum. So yeah, that looks sick right there, dude. By the way, from this perspective, it moves around yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was thinking about that when you revved. You got bad motor mass. <laughs> yeah, this thing's gonna be like, like <laughs> denting the fender. Oh hell yeah, dude, that's awesome. Uh, the tune I was not planning on you putting a much bigger cam in there because I copied your other out of uh, vacuum stuff, or in vacuum stuff, awesome. no, and built the boost curve based off of that. Not yeah. the fact that you went so much bigger on camshaft. Oh, we're good. Figured if I was paying for the retune, I might as yeah. well just. <laughs> hey. Well, now I don't have to hold it, but we got some tabs right there. Just tacking them puppies in there. For our frostbite holly. Radiator, that's how they say it up north, they call it a radiator. Dang, look at them kickstands on that unit, pal. That's what I'm talking about. More mounting tabs like here and here. Yep. Or just leave it. Whatever. Just take his left hand on yours off. Take I know, dude. That's out. so awesome. Alright, so last design is manifold right here. It's going to be able to move our cooling and well, we're kind of short on resources and we're really down to the wire at the moment. So doing this is going to allow us to be able to shorten the amount of pose we have, making flex bends. Hey, no pinholes this time, alright? Yeah, we'll find out. See if we got a sprinkler or not. After midnight, it is actually Saturday morning, day of Cletus and Cars. One of the pieces of the puzzle of the whole cooling system, what we've done. Lies did some crazy awesome stuff here. Uh, I've been actually working on the fans, getting the fans in there, wiring that up. George had run the wire, Laz made all of that. Been clamping this guy up. We'll have to show you underneath in a minute. It's kind of complex. Honestly, I think this was about half a day's worth of work in itself. Dude, there's like 36 feet of plumbing just to get there and having to go around stuff it's kind of crazy custom radiator hoses piece them together make manifolds and all that and that's what Laz was working on earlier too so that was yeah dude that was like i think you started about four o'clock <laughs> brand new fresh nittos ready for smoking for sale can be polished so that's one just got back from chrome oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> back from chrome it's not yeah. See how I feel about this. Dude, that was like Clark Griswold <laughs> cutting off the post. <laughs> well, it's a vast improvement over earlier today. Looking pretty racy, bud. Looking like a real race truck. Faster Brahms cut some paint booze. Let's take a look at the rest of this handiwork here. All right, George, we need this kind of engineering on the engine stand over there. <laughs> we robbed parts from the engine stand. <laughs> and the s10 <laughs> and the parts shelf and holly and i think at least two other projects in order to make this happen 
pleasure bolt. <laughs> Even the diff stick looks fast. It looks really pretty cool from here. There's a lot of time just to be able to make that look like that. So we're hoping when you guys see that from the stands, that thing's glowing cherry red. Remove the inner fender so you guys can see that, but also so that it's easier to work on. But this is pretty cool to look at, man. That's a that's a pretty sweet shot. Well, we've been tugging on this thing a little earlier. Ryan, big old muscly dude, he was tugging on it and didn't really do anything. Need to come back to where it used to be. It's almost one o'clock in the morning now. We were gonna. Talk. Did you look to see if there's yeah. anything behind there? I was looking, you were moving ah. fast. You got a lot of practice on my Duramax. That seems dangerous. Mm -hmm. oh, that was tasteful. Yeah, you did that really good. Please don't take off my bumper. What happened? Hey. Dude, those things are humming. Five gallons ice cold Florida water in there. Oh, I thought you put E85 in there. <laughs> that was loading up the hot tune. I think he's smiling like a joker. Oh, ho, 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 Laz! All right, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely looks like it's smiling like the joker. I figure there's some black rattle cans around. If you didn't like it, we could touch it back up, cover it up. No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> fun. Wow, it looks so legit. Besides that steam vent and the windshield wiper. <laughs> I guess that's custom. Oh, you tied the dipstick down? Nice. Yeah. Tied it down and tweaked it. All right, we're gonna fire this up. It's gonna be revised tune. Way more responsive as you can see <laughs> that was pretty awesome so we're only running in second gear george does not have a drive shaft yet but that is okay for what we're doing but this thing is gonna rip like we'll probably make a hundred wheel horsepower more uh all right that's good we're like nine pounds of boost it's starting to lean up there <laughs> I mean, between the gearing and just how aggressive it is, it's just that it's not a big number, but it's gonna perform exactly the way that we want it to perform. We are barely making this fuel system work. We're at now 90% duty cycle and it starts to lean out on the top. Pump is dropping pressure and that's what's killing our injectors. four in the morning we just got done making a pull thought everything was okay and it seems like we're having an issue with the fuel pump. and it's been successively getting leaner even though we're running less boost and commanding more fuel and upping the pressure we have more work to do so we're trying to figure out what to do with that so 
we don't know exactly what we're going to do, but it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be another wild day tomorrow. We are kicking around, either cutting a hole right in there, but there's a cross member there, and it's right on top of the tank. Is we had to use a sawzall. You can't really do that where the tank is. Or it's two hose clamps and then six bolts and yeah. lift the bed back up and slide it back. The cooling on this is our ace in the hole though. If we can get this thing to just work and uh, and get the fuel system straightened out, this thing will be ripping. It did burn us last weekend, so everything else should be good. With a lot less power. So early in the next morning, we got a pump from Ryan from his build, and we threw this Deechworks DW400 in there, and it literally saved the day. your day, buddy. The day is the day. It's the right amount of crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta enter like I that, boy. Off, yeah. <laughs> once you let off, the it wakes up. Rolling burnouts at 40? Yes, please. Such a short wheelbase, I'm nervous. <laughs> I gotta get used to it, you know? After all that. <laughs> well, fellas, this was the end of an absolutely epic build. There were so many times 
so many obstacles that I definitely have my doubts, but it shows you the resilience of our guys and us in general. We definitely pulled through, got everything done, albeit beyond the last minute. And we did make it to Cletus and Cars, that'll be our next video, and it was absolutely awesome. The truck definitely performs better than what we ever even expected. The parts that we got from Holly and the direction of what we wanted to do with this truck has definitely checked that box. Guys, I wanted to wish you a very happy Easter. I got a very special song that I'm putting in a link in the description. God bless you guys. I hope you have a very great Easter. We'll see you next episode. Harvey, come here. Harvey, come here. Sit. Stay. Stay. Torvi, drop it. Where did you even... What in the hell? How did you get that? Oh my God, Torvi. Did you steal the neighbor's egg? Ooh, Torvi, seriously. Where did you just get that? That is not crap. Torvi, where'd you get that? No. <laughs> no.